The Art of Resistance, My Four Years in the French Underground, 2020, is a memoir penned by Justice Rosenberg, a German-American Holocaust survivor and literature professor. In this narrative, Rosenberg recounts his World War II experiences, detailing his involvement in smuggling intellectuals and artists out of Nazi-occupied Europe, as well as his active participation in the French Resistance and the U.S. Army. Rosenberg commences his memoir with a brief overview of his childhood and youth. Born in 1921 in Danzig, now Gdansk, Poland, he belonged to a prosperous, secular Jewish family engaged in import-export trade. As the Nazis rose to power in the 1930s, Rosenberg's parents, alarmed by increasing anti-Semitism, advised him to complete his studies abroad, preferably in England or France. Opting for France at the age of 16, he initially attended a boarding school, becoming fluent in French, a skill crucial for his survival in the tumultuous times that followed. When the Nazis invaded Poland in 1939, Rosenberg found himself cut off from his family and penniless. Despite initial struggles, he secured a job as a theatrical extra. However, with the Nazi occupation of Paris, he fled just days before the city fell. His journey led him to Bayonne and then to Luz, where, intending to take his exams, he found himself in an occupied country. At a refugee camp, he encountered an American student, Miriam Davenport, who would play a pivotal role in his wartime activities. Miriam introduced Rosenberg to Varian Fry, a journalist working on behalf of New York's Emergency Rescue Committee. This committee aimed to evacuate European intellectuals, artists, and writers. Rosenberg, chosen for his appearance and language skills, became a courier for Fry, delivering messages and aiding in the documentation required for the evacuation efforts. As the situation in Marseille became increasingly perilous in August 1941, Fry was compelled to leave. Rosenberg, however, faced new challenges due to regulations preventing visa issuance for those with close relatives in Germany. Despite attempts to cross the border into Spain, he was arrested and returned to France. Following a series of events, including a daring escape from a transit camp, Rosenberg joined the resistance, adopting a new identity and contributing to the fight against the German occupation. His journey within the resistance involved tasks such as memorizing German army insignia, aiding in arms recovery, and participating in guerrilla operations against German convoys. In 1944, he encountered American soldiers and eventually joined the 636th Tank Destroyer Battalion as a scout, guide, and translator. Post-war, Rosenberg resumed his studies at the Sorbonne and contributed to the United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration. Learning of his family's survival during the Holocaust, he reunited with them in 1952. His post-war journey led him to the United States, where he settled in Ohio, teaching French and German while completing his doctorate. Throughout his memoir, Rosenberg attributes his survival to a series of fortuitous circumstances.